Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Christine. On today's video, I'm doing another makeup tutorial or makeup review. And this time I'm going to be doing the... I'm going to be doing another um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette from a cover girl. Like the one I did last time. The full spectrum cover girl. With different shades. And I'm going to be using a new highlighter and blush from Revlon and maybe this blush too I don't know if I'm gonna like the other ones the, the other one is too pink and and, and and something to go with the eyeshadow I'm gonna be using this lipstick from Maybelline I don't remember the name it's matte vivid matte liquid and this shade is too dark, last this is like plum. And I'm also gonna be using this um, this eyeshadow from Revlon, this creamy one, just to highlight the uh, eyelid. And you know, I, I I always use the Ioni lashes from the ninety nine cent store or dollar store dollar three, and. And as you can see, I already did the foundation, eyebrows, and everything. And I'm going to start by applying the the I'm going to start uh, I'm going to start applying uh, this one in the collarbone. Okay. And today I'm a little bit, um, I don't know why, I, a little bit tongue-tied. Maybe I'm tired, I didn't drink any coffee today. So, um, I'm a little bit like, let me see, okay, this looks really nice and now I'm going to use this um, like this little paint right here for the crease and you know these eyeshadows have really good pigmentation okay So my dress is blue, but the eyeshadow is pink. But I'm gonna use this, uh, this like purple for the eyelid. See, really pigmented. Okay, let me uh, brush the fallout. Now I'm going to apply the purple one. This one right here. See, they apply beautifully.
today I love this purple. It's like a wine or something like a uh, Bordeaux. Give me a second, okay guys? Hey guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. I just needed to go and check out on something. Okay, uh, I hope the camera is, is well positioned. Okay, so I was telling you that these uh, eyeshadows have really good, good pigmentation. Oh, and I also forgot to tell you that I'm gonna be wearing my my wig. The last one I I got the 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 blonde with straight with uh, straight hair. expand the pink because the pink was disappearing under the purple and you know you don't always have to be uh, match matching the uh, eyeshadows with the clothes you know This one looks like a smoky eye, but this these eyeshadows are really good. I love it. This is the first, the second time I'm I'm using the Cover Girl eyeshadows. Okay, now for the lo lower lash line, I'm gonna use the one in the bottom. It's really dark, and I don't think I'm gonna be using the the primer. So I'm going to try with that just by itself, okay? Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice. I love it. And you can see, you see, I didn't even have to use the, the eye primer. Now I think I'm going to use a little bit of that, uh, that same hmm, that same, the one that I use here, I'm going to use it a little bit here.
Does it look too 80s? I didn't want to stretch it that much. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay guys, I think I'm ready and I'm going to apply, I'll put on the eyelashes and the hair. And I'm going to come back to finish with the look. And I'm going to apply, I'm actually going to apply a little bit of this to make it a little bit shiny. doesn't show that much but anyway makes it look more uh, more dramatic Okay. okay guys, I'm going to go and put on the eyelashes and I'll be right back, okay? Okay guys, I'm back and I'm going to finish the look. I finally did a makeup look with this wig. You don't know if you remember, I did the review with it, but I was wearing makeup already. But this time I did a special makeup look or makeup tutorial for her. Okay, so I'm going to use this Revlon. Highlighter and blush. Let me see if I can open it. Uh -huh. 
okay you see it's pretty it has different shades and I'm going to apply this darker one to contour a little bit and it's really light Okay, now I'm going to use another brush because I don't want him to mix. And now I'm going to use the ones in the top. And it looks really subtle, but it actually looks really, really, really blotch. Oh my god. Okay, now the lipstick. I think this lipstick is going to be a little bit harsh for this look. Even though I'm wearing really uh, dark eyes. But I'm going to try to do this. Uh, oh my god. I'm... Uh, what? Oh my god, this is not the, the drawer that I need. Let me get another lipstick. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. I think it's gonna go good with this uh with this dress. And I also need a lip liner. Okay. This is what happens when you don't organize yourself. Okay. Okay, and this is also from Revlon, okay? I should have called this a uh, tutorial uh, full face of Revlon. This is better. The other one was too dark. It's a little bit, this look, it's a little bit, um, I don't know, what do you think about it? You like it? Okay guys, so this is the final look.
hope you like it. This is my favorite wig. This is the 26 inch that I got. If you will remember, look, it's really long and it's straight. So I love it. And I just uh, use the uh, flat iron and it's a T part. So it means it only has to lace here and here. And that's it. Okay, guys, I hope you like the look. I hope you like the video, the makeup and everything, the the clothes, then the jewelry and everything. And I hope you like it. And if you do, give it a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you again soon in my next video. And please don't forget to take care of yourselves. And don't forget also that I love you guys and that I see you again soon. Okay, please take care. Bye.